So in this video, I will dive deeper into some of the changes you will experience when going to Thailand in the near three very concrete examples and then how you can take advantage of each situation now if you want more of these tips and the things that i can publicly talk about and show on youtube then you can sign up to become what's called king epic insider you just go here to kingepic.com and the sidebar you see this little box you enter email address and you're done if you've ever received an email from me before you don't need to sign up again you are already part of this number one private encounters over public crowds now the first point is pretty obvious and it's one that I have mentioned in a prior video. At least temporarily, we will see a shift away from bigger to smaller nightlife venues and even skipping some of the nightlife action altogether. If you're used to meeting girls in the nightlife area, taking them home and doing something right then and there or going on a short trip with them, that nightlife part might be cut short. It will be more straight to the point and any partying you do will be done in small groups or simply in private with one or multiple girls. You can still do all the fun stuff. Go to places, have a drink, just not in large crowds. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm not a big party guy. I like going out regularly, but I almost always separate partying from meeting or hanging out with girls. Most of the time, I meet girls on separate occasions, on separate days, and not while going out. Now, there's nothing more enjoyable than hanging out with a girl I find very attractive, both physically and personality-wise, and having a drink in private. You will never ever see me at the beach or in the pool during daytime. But after midnight, hell yeah. Nothing cooler than going to the beach with a girl after midnight, sitting there having a drink, and going back to the hotel, sneaking into the pool. It's awesome. If you choose the right hotel, you won't even have to sneak in to the pool. The pool is open 24 seven. I've mentioned an example, a prior video called the Gazebo Resort in Pattaya. Yeah, pool is pretty much open 24 seven. If you stay on the ground floor in one of the rooms facing the pool, then yeah, they won't even see you <laughs> going into the pool. If you've never tried any of that, and you've been a big party guy, give it a try, it's fun. If you get bored easily with one girl, take two. Number two, go girls don't disappear. You know, you know how they say that energy can be converted in form, but it cannot be created or destroyed. And the same is true of working girls, or specifically the ones working at go-go bars. Just because some bars are closed, doesn't mean all the cuties disappeared into thin air. Yes, it's true that some will go back home, but many just look for different ways of meeting guys. Now that hot girl from the Google club has just become a freelancer ready to meet you. The benefits, you can skip the bar game, the bar find, the lady drink part. By the way, if you've never had a girl dance for you in private, give it a try and then tell me you still prefer her dancing on a public stage. In number three, you save money because location matters less. Now that the focus will shift to meeting individual girls, staying close to the nightlife areas becomes less important. And suddenly you are able to take advantage of super deals. Great hotel rooms that cost a fraction of the ones that are within walking distance to the nightlife venues. So how much did I pay for this room as an example? $50 per night, how about $25 per night? Well. See for yourself, $17 for two nights. I have even more extreme examples, such as this private resort near Phuket, which cost me $3 per night. It's insane. I talk more about this, picking a recommendation, where to stay and when as part of the Thailand guide, but just know that you'll be able to save big time on accommodation in the near future if you play your cards right. 